Hello Toronto, I am here today with Marsha Fenwick, who is a holistic nutritionist and certified cancer coach. She has a practice very close to our Avenue in Eglinton store and we are very happy to have you here today. Welcome. Thank you Tara, thank you for inviting me into your healthy grocery store and I'm really, really excited to be here. But I have to tell you my initial impression of the healthy butcher was that you've had terrific quality organic meats and I've also been sending my clients for many years for your bone broths but I was so pleasantly surprised to see all these other great options such as healthy produce, dairy, healthy fats, olives and so much more. Um, and today I thought it'd be great to walk through your store and get a little bit of an understanding about how to incorporate healthy fats into our diet because we know through nutritional science that they're very, very important for our overall health, even particularly brain health and heart health. So I thought uh, maybe we can take a look over here at the fish counter. Perfect. There's so many great options. Uh, wild fish, um, and also what you have called ocean-wise approved fish. And these are really great options because they have omega-3 fats, they're really high in protein, and fish also has great natural vitamin D. And these foods are so easy to put together for meals because when you buy quality fish, all you really need to do is put on some healthy herbs and spices and a little bit of olive oil and, and you're ready to go. So right, people always say, how do you cook it? I'm just quick pans here and you know, a few simple spices and you have, you start with a beautiful piece of fish, it's gonna turn out perfect, right? Quick and easy. So fish is really a great option for healthy fats for our brain and also for our cardiovascular and system. How often would you recommend somebody eating a piece of fish? That's a great question. I usually recommend two to three times a week. Okay. Yep. Awesome. Perfect. And from here we're gonna go talk about some olives. Sounds great. Here we are with a beautiful display of olives, green and black, and they really contain great um, monounsaturated fat, high in vitamin E, a great source of antioxidants, really good for heart health. And uh, I really love these because not only are they healthy fat, but they're great for snacks and for people with salty cravings. Right, so instead of eating that bag of chips in the afternoon, you just go and grab yourself a nice bunch of olives. Perfect idea. It's really, really a great healthy option. Very versatile too, obviously, to incorporate in any any dish, any recipes. Right. Olive tamponade, put it in your pasta, or just again grab four or five olives mid-afternoon. Awesome. Thanks. Now we're going to go to our ghee. Some other great sources of healthy fats are knowing the right kind of cooking oils to cook with. That's really very important for overall health. So what I, um, this is something that I find is a little bit different than not everybody knows about, which is called ghee, and this is actually clarified butter. What's really great about it is that it's lactose-free and casein-free. So for people who have dairy allergies or intolerances, this is a really, really good option. And what's really great about this, it's great for digestive health, ghee, because not only does it have good healthy fats, but it's got what's called butyrate, which is really, really important for our gut health. So that's obviously why it's highly recommended by nutritionists because they tend to stay away from a lot of dairy products because people have a lot of sensitivities and problems directly related to dairy. So this is why this is a perfect fat then. It's exactly right. And another really important point that I should mention is that it has a really high smoke point, which means that when we cook with it, it doesn't oxidize. And we really need to pick good choices for high heat cooking, such as ghee, avocado oil, which you have, and coconut oil. Awesome. Okay, so now we're at nuts, and everybody knows how awesome nuts are for you, and I've been totally addicted to snacking on nuts at my desk, so now you can tell me why I'm doing something really great. <laughs> you are doing something really great. This is one of my favorite sections in the store. There's so many great options to choose from. Um, I really like recommend eating almonds. I really uh, suggest sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds. Uh, Brazil nuts are super high in selenium, which is really important for brain health. And I do really think nuts are a great choice. Not only do they have healthy fat, but they also have great sources of protein and fiber. So specifically for people who want to lower their cholesterol for heart health, they're really, really a great choice for that specifically. And as you mentioned, the reason you enjoy them for a snack or they're great to eat is because they're satiating. So fat is meant to fill us, healthy fat. So it's really, really great option. You snacks. should really only have like a handful of nuts, right? Like it, it's not eat half of the bag. It should just be a small portion, right? <laughs> exactly. So, you know, we say roughly 10 to 12 almonds or okay. walnuts. 
And then, you know, if you want to put some pumpkin or sunflower seeds to crunch up your salad, you know, roughly about a quarter cup is a, is a good serving. Amazing. So that's it, Toronto. You have it for some awesome suggestions for some healthy fats. If you have any questions, please email us. But we're also putting out an offer there. If you would like to come in and walk around the store with Marsha and pick up some great pointers one-on-one -on -one because you have a health concern or you just have general questions about organic or grass-fed or local or natural or clean products, please shoot us an email at info at the healthybutcher.com and we will arrange a time for you to come in and take a walk around with Marsha and learn. We hope you enjoyed today's video and cheers. We'll see you next week. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you.